Hello, I'm Matt Joblin and welcome to Trackstar Daily, the show that digs into the data and looks at what Wall Street's finest are researching online. Today we're taking a look at Seaback Energy Technology, a Chinese firm with a market cap of $211 million that develops, manufactures and sells lithium-ion rechargeable batteries. Wall Street traders have been researching this firm a lot recently, and looking at a chart, it is easy to see why, with the stock up over 150% so far this year. Seaback operates mainly in China, Europe, South Korea and Israel, and a big part of its business is supplying rechargeable lithium-ion batteries for use in electric vehicles, mobile phones, laptop computers and digital cameras. September was a busy month for the firm. First, it announced that it had successfully entered into the supply base of Hire Group, a Chinese multinational home appliances and consumer electronics company, and won the bidding for its latest smart home project. Furthermore, the firm announced the release of a new spec large-sized cylindrical tabless battery following successful testing and plans to build a new standardized production line to mass produce it in the first half of 2021. This new model has five times greater the energy capacity than the previous model, and there is also a 25% increase in energy density, alongside a 20% reduction in cost per kilowatt. These are all factors that are critically important in the electric vehicle industry, which itself has had a powerful 2020 so far. Chart-wise, we can see the stock surged at the start of the month to post an annual high at $5 per share, a level not traded at since 2014 before pulling back. In all, this is a really interesting company with huge growth potential, not only in the Chinese smart home sector, but also the electric vehicle industry. Wall Street has been tracking this stock recently, and it's easy to see why based on recent developments. However, it's always important to keep your risk hat close by. If President Trump wins re-election, then tensions with China are likely to escalate and US-listed Chinese companies may come into focus. That's all we have time for today, folks. As always, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. <laughs>